Hi, in this video you can find out how to use the advanced features of Atree 3D Pro version. When you buy the Pro version of this tool you will receive an email with a download link and a product key. Follow the link and download the product, then run the setup and follow the instructions. Select what you want to install. Select your 3DS Max root folder. And finish the installation. After that start or restart your 3DS Max, go to Customize Customize User Interface, Keyboard, Category Avis Studio Tools, and assign shortcuts for Atree 3D and modify Atree 3D commands. Use the shortcut and start Atree 3D dialog. When you start it for the first time you will need to register your product with your license key. Press Enter Pro License Key button in the About Rollout and enter your key in the dialog. Once the registration is successful you will be able to use all the pro features of the tool. Let's resize the window so that we can see all the parameters and then preview the current tree. Now if we enable the separate filters. We will see that preview does not change. If we build the tree we will see that all trunks branches and leaves are separate 3ds max objects. We can scale these objects. We can rotate them. And we can move them so that we can fine tune our tree. If we don't want to use so many objects we can turn off the separate filters for the levels that we don't need. If we modify this tree with our shortcut and disable these two filters. And build the three again, we will see that we have only one object for the trunk. And as many objects for the branches as the count value of our first level. Let's continue with next pro parameter, surface constraint. This parameter is similar to volume constraint, and can be set for each level of the tree. Let's create a box and add it as a new surface in the Atree 3D dialog. The box is affecting the trunk and the branches. To see how we can control this effect, I'll set the count and distance of the first level branches to zero. And work only with the trunk. We have six parameters that control the surface constraint and all of them can be set from zero to 100. They are divided in three groups. First group control the start of the level. Second group control the middle of the level. And the third group control the end of the level. If we change the strength of the effect at the start to 100%, we will see that the trunk in the beginning is affected 100% by the surface of the box. If we change the other two strength parameters to 50 and again 100, we can see the result. At the start, the surface effect is 100%, in the middle, 50% and at the end again 100%. We can remap the position of the start, middle, and the end by adjusting the values on the second row. I'll set the position of the start point to 40, the position of the middle point to 60 and the position of the end point to 80. This will result in a different shape and the effect will be concentrated in the middle of the trunk. Let's show the first level branches and see how the branches are affected by the surface. I'll scale up the branches a little bit and build the tree. Let's continue with the next parameter, blend orientation. In this tree model, the leaves are aligned to the world. By pressing the W on the helper you can change that orientation. Often using only one of the three alignment is not enough to achieve the desired result. In such case we can blend different alignment with blend orientation parameters. If we do that for our leaves and blend their orientation with the local alignment for angle A and R. We'll see that the leaves starts with orientation to the world and at the end are aligned to the branches. Similar to surface constraint, we can set different values for this effect. 
for example at the start 0%, at the middle 25% and at the end 50% blending. We can also remap the positions of start, middle and end point but in this case it's not necessary. If we compare this tree with the same tree but without the option of blending orientation turned on. As you can see the leaves of the tree on the left look more natural, especially on the top. Moving on to the next pro parameter, vertex color. You can set the vertex color of the tree by enabling the checkbox and adjusting the two colors on the right. The first color is used for the start of the element and the second color is used for the end of it. We can enable vertex color of all levels of the tree. Then I'll add a material with vertex color map, build the tree and render the result. We can see in the render that the color of each element is applied based on the vertex color. Let's continue with advanced variation rollout. Here you can set different shapes variations for all levels of the tree. You can set different sections for the trunk or branches. And also you can apply noise for the shapes and sections of the trunks and branches. Let's see how we can use this parameters. I'll add these two new lines as a shape variations for the selected branch level. If I select the second option, the tool will loop through all available shapes for the level. With this option, the tool is using the default shape and all additional shapes that we've added. If we select the third option, blend all shapes, all available shapes used in the loop option will be blended together. At the bottom, the level will start with the default shape, then this shape will be blended with the next shapes. All branches will be blended with a smooth transition in their shapes and vertex count. If we press 1, to see the vertexes of these branches, we can see that vertex count is reduced from the bottom to the top of the tree. The last shape option is similar to loop all shapes option, but here the shape of each branch is selected randomly. Let's continue with sections parameters. Here we can select different sections for the trunks and for the branches. If I add this complex shape in the dialog and select from the drop down the second option. The tool will use for the section of the trunk only the last picked shape. I'll set the sides of the trunk to 24 and scale up the radius, so that we can see the result better. Now let's add another shape, circle for example and then see the result. You can see that the tool used the complex shape first, then the circle and then loop trough all shapes again. The last option, random section, is similar to the loop option, but here each section is randomly selected. Blend all sections, the third option in this drop down, will blend all available shapes. In this mode we can start with a complex shape at the bottom of our trunk and finish with a circle at the top. We can control the effect of the complex shape by adding more circles. This way at the start of the trunk we use the complex shape, at 50% we blend into a circle and at the top we blend into another circle. The last group of parameters in this rollout are the noise parameters. If we enable this checkbox, we can see the result immediately. All noise perimeters are similar to the noise parameters in 3ds Max noise modifier. You can adjust the strength, the scale, the iterations, and the roughness. You can also apply noise for the sections of the trunk. This way you can add more detail to your tree. To make our trunk even more interesting we can set the twist parameter.
and finally build the tree. I hope you like this video. See you soon with new products and updates from Avis Studio Tools.